Philippines Jeepney, uh, the most common vehicle you'll find in the Philippines, but also the most uh, utilised for advertisement and well known globally. Um, it's a bit of a leftover from World War II when all the trucks got left behind, uh, when the US sort of withdrew. Um, they've become domesticated transport because there was a need for it and there was nothing to fill the gap except for well obviously the trucks um, on the top of these you'll see a little number um, the first one there it says 041 041 is actually the route number the reason this is important is you'll find that like going to Cebu City can take three hops you can take three buses um, because they're on different routes to get to where you want to go so you need to be aware that looking at those numbers are important from getting from A to B the other side of that being is there's plenty of them um, if you miss one because you're not sure there'll be another one literally if you went like that and then looked the other way the next one will be arriving <laughs> there's a constant flow of them um, in Cebu there's a lot more of the multi-cab type of this, which are the smaller ones, they're like the uh, the old Suzuki pickups and stuff. There's actually a picture of one of the multi-cabs with the tires on on the back here. Um, those vehicles are not great. They're not uh, foreigner comfy. <laughs> I normally find that my I have to duck my head, but also because the windows are very narrow you can't see where you need to get off either so you have to keep an eye on the opposite side pickpockets work on these things and they can work in teams of two or three and it's a big problem also there's hold ups quite regular with them the police are proactive in trying to cut, cut out a lot of these issues um, but it is stuff you really need to be aware of are they dangerous? I would say not dangerous, you're more likely to um, well I've never had any issues myself but I know several people that have um, but being pickpocketed on it uh, is mainly keeping your wallet away from anywhere that's accessible the way I normally deal with this is I just take the amount of money I need to go out with and pretty much nothing else so there's, there's nothing to steal in the first place but a lot of the time I'll actually have the money in my hands I'll just scrunch up the notes and just keep it in my hand. Um, now one of the things etiquette wise is you'll get people go um, buy in and basically that's not only for you but everybody else in the bus. If you're sat next behind the driver you will get people ask you um, to pass the money forward to the driver which is like buy in, buy in. Is it Bayan or Bayad? I think it's Bayad. But the they will ask you to pass the money forward. Now, depending on where, how far you're going, will depend on what you're paying. Um, maybe somebody can update with me the rates at the moment because I'm, I'm not familiar at the minute because they may have changed since I was last on that jeepney. Um, but it's not expensive. It's the cheapest way of getting around um, over longer distances. What I recommend is if you're going to Cebu City using these instead of a taxi if you can help it because it will save you a bit of cash um, but also you get to meet a lot more people in the back of the taxi then going to the shopping mall you're not really meeting anybody um, but if you're actually on these buses what happens is people start talking to you oh where are you from? Uh, what are you doing in the Philippines? do you like it here? You know conversations open up, everybody just talks, the Philippines are so much more open, you know, conversation is normal. Um, I'd find in the UK, if somebody starts talking to me on the bus, I'd find it irritating. <laughs> Not that I use buses anyway, but it's normal because I'm in the UK, we're generally a lot more busy, um, but in the Philippines, things are so much laid back, more laid back. Um, but yeah, you'll get that engagement where people will talk to you. If you want the bus to pull over, you can tap your coin on the handrail and they'll, they'll pull over. The way you've got to pay, by the way, is, is you pass it back to the driver. Um, 
I still get confused on some of the time what's what because some of it's a little bit over because it's per kilometer after the first 10 pesos that says that might have even changed now uh, I think when I first went to the Philippines about 6 pesos um, but if you want them to pull over just say Lugalang which is, but that's in Visaya um, which is the Visayas region the, from Cebu uh, if you're up in Manila it'll be Para um, it basically just means pull over and then you just jump out the back um, bearing in mind they, are, they do have official stops as well which hasn't really been an issue I've jumped out in traffic before but I do know the traffic enforcers will find the bus and may even find you for doing it if you jump out um, in the middle of traffic or jump, try and get on um, on a road junction etc. Uh, so be aware, they will stop for you but you may end up with a, a fine. I've only seen it happen once but I can guarantee now I've given somebody advice about how to hop on and off a bus, they'll get fined next week. Also, I find with the SRP, which in Cebu is a uh, private road, um, I think it's Southern. It's, it's, I can't remember what it's called now. But anyway, jeepneys aren't around, allowed on there. Um, so, what people do is they'll actually jump on the back of other transportation. You'll, you'll see a truck like this pull over, and 20 people just climb on the top. They're not paying. Um, it's just that they're trying to get into Cebu City by the fastest route, which is the SRP, uh, where no buses run. So they'll just climb on the top. Um, obviously, not the safest uh, thing to be doing. I'm not sure why the jeepneys are banned on there. Um, I think it's to do with permits or something. But there's no, there's no real customers for them as such, except for these guys, which are normally people that are working in the city and um, students. But a lot of time they're doing it as well, so they don't have to pay for the jeepney fare and pocketing the extra money because they might have had it as their allowance or whatever. And if they can get a free ride, they'll do it. Obviously, health and safety is not the first thing they think about. <laughs>